Good to job by the officiating crew there. That was good of them to review the tape, make sure they got it right. Yeah, they're earning their paycheck tonight. Um, uh, every buck is going to count here in this fourth quarter. Spectrums, they've lost the lead. Now down by five, but that could vanish so easily. we got 12 minutes to resolve this game. Sweetser takes the inbound. Gives it to the fluffy one, Fiora. Fiora starting the dribble. Ends up kicking it out back to Sweetser. Hand off to Caracal. Caracal from inside the arc. No good. First shot attempt does not make it. Sutter is able to bring it down. Again, it hands it off to Hervonen. Getting overconfident there. Hervonen. Parking pass. Finds Shuck down low. Shuck. Shimmy shot. Fade. Too much. But Sutter's with a recovery. Nope. And Crosby oh. Sutter's with an amazing hook shot over the ears. Bring it back there. Unbelievable play. Crosby Sutter's. Beautiful job getting that hook shot with a tail spinning around him. Bing's got some moves. Very impressive. Sly, then over, then the fluffy one. Not able to connect from three. Fiora missing that shot wide open at the shoulder. Hervonen with the recovery, drives inside, stumbles with the ball. Rocky Caracol got a little push off of his body. No whistle, though. Pass, Belgique at the corner. Starts the dribble. Takes Come the on. shot from the baseline. In and out. No good. Song Wall with a recovery. Back we go. The game is within a possession right now. A bucket here would give Edmonton a five-point lead. And there it is. Marco <laughs> Sly inside. The beautiful pass by Song Wall. Finds the raccoon inside. And the dunk for Marco Sly to get his shinies. Take a bow. Spectrums call a timeout. Yeah, they better. No doubt there. Now, suddenly, Edmonton is entering this quarter the way they should have entered the third. This is where they wanted to start off. This is a beautiful job of jumping in and stealing that momentum right away. But look at those fans. They're having a good time. Very pleased with their team right now. Want to keep Can't the Tomas alive in this series. Ravonen takes the inbound. Guarded by Parsons. Getting those paws in front of him. Think fast. Tough defense there. The webs are hard to shoot through. And then Aurelius able to hit that bucket Ooh. from just outside the elbow. He was open. The defense was not watching the Lion. He's able to connect with that open look. Makes it a one-possession game. Spectrum 60. Edmonton 63. Ten minutes left in the fourth. Pass up to Parsons near the corner. Using the screen. The Otter. Open. Hierarchy runner. Oh. Blocking foul just collided there with Hervonen, and the Cougar picks up his fourth personal as the ref calls him for blocking. Shame, shame, shame. Parsons has a chance here to get two at the line. Extend the lead to five. Just shy of ten minutes left in the fourth. Keep it loose. All the time in the world. There you go. I, I, this is going to sound a little bit specious of me, but uh, I've always felt like muscleds make good shooters. That's just seems to be something they're very good I think, at. I think that's fair, and I and I can't say why. It's uh, it's probably. I think it's a, it's it's an oh. it's an energy speed thing. It's uh, you know, they're so good at getting that open look. You know, the, the quick move back and forth, the uh, the little shimmy shot in order to throw off the defense, and then they get that openness, and that's that just seems to be such a good muscled move. Cheval from wide. I have no idea why the horse thought he could do that. I mean, granted, he was wide open, but a 22-foot shot. Well, he has hit threes before, so there yes. he thought he was lucky. Well, this comfort zone. I don't think that was the safest play yet, though. Caracal kicks out. Parsons from three. That's how you do it. <laughs> Wasn't I just saying muslids make good Show shooters? Up, we've got stubby legs, but we've got springy spines and lots of it. Makes it an eight-point game. Spectrum 60, Edmonton 68. Pack it up, fuckers. You got no chance. Ravonen going back and forth, trying to get around that defense. Gets down the baseline. Tough shot. No good. Nope. And no whistle. He thought there was contact, but the ref isn't giving him anything. Recovered by the totems. Parsons with it. Beautiful defense by the totems, holding back one of the best scorers on the Spectrum's line. 
Inside. Frustrachio oh. slams another one down. That's how you do it. Oh, and that was right on Lance Chaval's head. Oh, he dunked <laughs> right on the main. Oh, he doesn't oh. like getting his hair mussed. <laughs> oh, that was rough there. The big bear just delivering a big dunk on Chaval's head. The ball f oh, goes out of bounds there. Slip from Hervonen's paws. And that's a, a turnover. And we are now at a double-digit game. Spectrum 60, Edmonton 70. Romanoran with the inbound. Oh, oh, bad sloppy play there. Romanoran handing off to Caracol while he had a paw right on the baseline. Excuse me, on the on the, the edge. Oh, that not a good play there, there at all. That's a turnover immediately on the inbound because of that. So it's going back to the spectrums. They got a chance to bring this lead, uh, bring the deficit within single digits. Power can pass Aurelius back to the basket. Turns around. Guarded by Romanoran. Cross court. Pass. Plush ball from three. And plush ball down. connects. Yet again, the Muslids are hitting all the three balls here. The Pine Zero Martin there. Doing a beautiful job hitting that open look. Now it's a seven point game. Parsons with the rock. Full court press. The Cougar all over him. Provonen just pushing up against Plush Paw. Not giving him any quarter at all. Cross court. Caracol wide open. Yes. That's what we like to see. Beautiful job by Caracol to use the double screen to get the open look from a foot outside the charity stripe. He connects, makes it a nine-point game. It's Spectrum 63, Edmonton 72. Just under eight minutes left in the fourth. Aurelius. Look at that focus. Crowd is calling for defense. They don't want to see any more points from the San, from the San Ana team. Oh. And they did a good job there. Aurelius forced to do a tough leaner. No good. Gave it a little bit too much mustard. We're going the other way. Parsons now with a rock. Kick out. Frola. I'll go and give it a shot. Guarded by Vervonen. Hand off to Caracol. Caracol pushing against the defense, running out of time. Takes a shot from the free throw line, blocked. Hervo no. re recovered by Hervonen. Pass aside, Chaval misses the dunk. Oh. He corbers it, and Caracol takes the bounce off the rim. Boy, if it wasn't bad enough getting dunked on by Frustrichio, Chaval there misses a dunk. He was so confident, dangling and all. Very sloppy play there. We're going the other way. Romanoran now pushing back the defense. Turn around, fade. Nope, not this time. No. Easy with the rebound. Ravonen. Finds plush ball at the corner. Back to Ravonen. Pump fake. He bit on it, but hands it off to Ian Easy. Deep Woods. Plush ball. That's his favorite shoulder. He's been doing shooting great from there. Keep it sharp. Plush ball driving in. Kicking out a little bit, Aurelius, high post, puts it up, swing, oh. the hook shot goes in. He wasn't expecting that. Not at all, and Edmonton calls a timeout. Spectrums have been able to chain up a couple of shots, and they do not want Santa Ana to get any momentum as we're almost burned off half of the fourth quarter. Keep it together. Both sides have been shown well tonight. Very, very well. I'd say that the Spectrums have done a fine job of not letting themselves get psychologically uh, messed up by the defense, except, oh my goodness, what a sloppy start. Yeah, you were saying? Romanoran with another terrible inbound. They have got to stop letting the rookie inbound the ball. Flung the ball in, missed the mark, and the ball went right out of bounds off of Romanoran's paws, and so it's a turnover. Nice. Spectrum's ball. That's the second time Romanoran has had a bad inbound. Plush ball. This month's gonna have words with it. No doubt. Cheval from 18. No good. Oh. Frollo with the recovery. He brings it up. Hang your head in shame. No doubt. I mean, that really should have been an easy look for the big horse. Yeah. And Frollo, on the other hand, the big kitty, gets inside. Oh my goodness, what a. Not a, <laughs> an accident down low. Ian Ianese picks up a blocking foul on that one as Gerald Frollo pushes in, but he got. Looks like he got hit in the uh, hip. And the big kitty. What's he doing? I thought they landed on their feet. 
That time They're he supposed to. Yeah, that time he didn't. Froll ended up vertical on the floor. Smooth. Um, horizontal, I mean. Man, I got that mixed up. Yet Frollo was able to get the first. He gets the two uh, free throw shots, makes the first one. Lines up for the second. That's good as well. There we go. Restores a nine-point game. Spectrum 65, Edmonton 74. After that big accident under the hoop. Boy, Frollo just taking a big hit. Ian Easy. Pump fake. No bite, though. Hand off to Cheval. Cheval crosses Dunk. over inside. It's good. There we go. The horse has something to prove after two terrible plays there, getting dunked on, then missing his own dunk. At that there time, we go. Take a victory trot. But then, yes, yeah, there, Cheval's uh, definitely galloping a little bit better that time. After that, and oh. what defense? Well, wait a minute. No, it's a blocking foul. Looked like uh, that's on Zach Plushbaugh, his second personal. Looks like he was successfully pushed the player, the ball handler, out for turnover. But no, the referee thought there was too much co contact. Keeps the ball with the totems. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Caracol with, with it. with it. Caracol over to Hicks. Hand back off to Caracol from three. Keeps it. It's a good. Ah. Rocky Caracol pumping his fist as the crowd gives a cheer. How well deserved. Chainlink gets his 15th point as he restores the double digit lead. Spectrum 67, Edmonton 77. Keep him away. Five minutes left in the third. Cheval tapped, but it's recovered by Aurelius. Still with the Spectrums. They've only got a few seconds left here. Aurelius having to take the 22 footer. Back of the iron, no good. Hicks with the rebound. Edmonton with a chance to extend their lead here. Parsons, hand off. Hicks back to Parsons. Parsons. Finds, so finds Romero and down low, and the big line slams it down with both paws. Boom. Beautiful play there. Goes to dynamite. Romero in, forgotten by the defense. <laughs> he gets a wide open space there in the low kennel. The quick pass to the big line, and he's able to throw it down for two. It's a 12 point game. Spectrum 67, Edmonton 79. Siegfried Leroy. Ian Easy, plush ball. No good from 20 feet. Romanarin with the rebound. Parsons with the get the joke. Uh, no, I totally did not get the joke there. Uh, never mind. Okay. It's for the Canadian audience. Okay, well, uh, I'm, there's plenty of them out there. I'm sure someone's yeah. laughing then. Somebody better. Okay. Less than four minutes left here, running out of time. It's Parsons from 22. It's good! Beauty! What is it about you mustlids and your shooting? You guys are amazing. Most of the time. <laughs> I guess only one of us can be really excellent in a given season. <laughs> From three, plush paw, another one! Oh. It is a mustlids game out there. If only. <laughs> These grapes are awfully sour. They, Sorry I, about that. Oh, uh, all right. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm guessing they probably know that you're commenting on this one. They're all going like, we got to show off in front of the greatest stone in the FBA. <laughs> you sound like Jimmy there. I, I did. I, I, got, I picked that up from Jimmy. I've definitely heard him say that a few times. <laughs> Caracal. Is, by the way, this coffee shit. Oh, Caracal. Beautiful job getting space with a quick dribble. Hitting the bucket from 22. That's what it's about. Spectrum's called a timeout. They need it. For real though, where is Jimmy these days? Uh, Jimmy, he has actually uh, started up his own podcast. Oh, no way. Yes, isn't that impressive? He's learned from the... He's I, learned from you. I've been very proud of him. But yeah, he's uh, FBA Insider is the name of the show. He's got some uh, some help on that show. But it's, uh, so they've only done a few episodes, but they've been quality episodes. I'll so yeah, Jimmy's doing very well. Are we boys growing up? So he is. Uh, it's, it's, it does... I do have a certain a level of pride, right. a little bit. Uh, well deserved. Plushpot takes the inbound. Spectrums are down by 13. It's Spectrum 70, Edmonton 83. Ravona now with yeah, the rock. Pressure. Pushing back Parsons. Quickly double teamed. Make a count. 
And that's an offensive three-second violation as Hervonen just held onto the ball too long in the kennel. What did I say about counting? Yeah, he certainly wasn't doing it. That's another sloppy play there. Tough inbound, but Romanen is able to get it to Parsons. Parsons <laughs> gets around the defense. Beautiful job there. Pass up. Ooh. Hicks back to the basket. Hicks has to get rid of it, though. Defense is quick around the Koi dog. Parsons now at the shoulder. Hervonen guarding. Hand off to Romanen. Inside. Hicks down low, but he gets rid of it again. Gives it no to Caracal. Caracal. The MVP from the elbow. Tough it shot. That's swatted out of there. Big swat. Beautiful job by Zach Plushpaw to get a big paw on the rock and set it out with a plush. Tough defense tonight. I have no idea what that means, but it sounded cute. And only <laughs> .2 seconds on the shot clock. There's not going to be anything to do. That's a shot clock violation as soon as the ball is inbound. Rocky Caracal, big effort down low, but Zach Plushpaw had different plans. Big block from the plushy paw. Inbound to Ravonen. Two minutes left in the fourth. Still a 13-point game. Ravonen kick out. Finds plush paw. Back to Ravonen. Eyes open. Loses it, but I was able to pick it up again. Five seconds on the shot clock. Gets around the defense. Ravonen uh. inside. No good. Shaval able take to it, pick up it. the rebound. Shaval gets the basket. Who's a pretty pony? Yes, you are. <laughs> Makes it an 11-point game. Parsons full court press. And a successful full court press. Hervonen able to push Plush Paw out of bounds. And we're going the other way. Crowd not happy about that at all. But marvelous job by Hervonen to pressure the ball handler. Aurelius with it now. And off that back to Aurelius. Nervous. Hervonen. Hope gets around the defense. Gets a lane, kicks it out, oh. knocks over the D for Strakeel on his back, but no whistle from three. Aurelius is good! <laughs> Dias Aurelius Westwood, the last person we expected from the corner, able to make that bucket. He only got two for it. It's Spectrum 74, Edmonton 83. The ball almost stolen on the inbound. Parsons with it. Still pressing, still pressing, but Parsons is able to get over half court before the eight second violation. Minute and a half left in the fourth. Edmonton is smelling a win here. Stretch that lead. Rocky getting to the baseline. Tough shot. Turn around. He gets it. And that could be the dagger in this one as he restores the, the double-digit lead. I was nailing the fucking coffin. That could be it. We're down to the last minute of the game. It's 74 Spectrums. Edmonton 85. Hervonen not giving up, though. Baseline finds Cheval. Cheval blocked by Verstrykiel. Beautiful job by the big bear getting a paw on the rock, and he's able to block one of the best defensive centers in the FBA. Marvelous job by Fastrichio. That'll be in his highlight reel. Push paw <laughs> inside, off the inbound, it's good. Romanarin inbounds. I'm surprised they're trusting him. Gets it to Parsons. Give the kid a shot. Burning out the clock here. Hervonen is all over the otter. Better keep those claws in there, Cougar. Meow. Tough dribble. Defense is still there. Running out of time. Parsons has to get rid of it. Hicks from three. Back of the iron. Oh. No good. Not a shot. Ian Easy with the rebound. He brings it up quick. There's a two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Hand off to Hervonen. Hervonen from three. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. When the Spectrums need clutch, the Cougar is clutch. Spectrum 79, Edmonton 85 is a six-point game. Shot clock is turned off, and they go for the intentional. Parsons intentionally fouled, but they're still not in the bonus, so a little bit more time will be burned off the clock. It's already at 14.4. With a six-point differential, though, it would be a miracle to win this off of intentional fouls, though. Parsons, there's the foul, and oh! Pervonen forced a foul out. After that intentional foul, that was Hervonen's sixth personal foul. So even if they do manage to get Scott Parsons to miss both of his free throws, they no longer have their best shooter on the floor. And Parsons, stretch the lead. As we have established, is as a muslid, 
is a fantastic shooter, and he <laughs> makes the first. And that will do it. It looks like both teams are putting in the scrub. Songwa coming out, looking very happy with his team. Sutters. He's got reason to be. Yona also coming out. Shuck. And the Otter is good with the second. Spectrum's calling a timeout, and that means it is an eight-point game with only 13.7 seconds left. This one's in the books. Totems won that double digit. Edmonton is going to stay alive for another game as they push this out to three and two. Big battle, of course, is going to be that game six when this um, series goes to spe uh, the Spectrums. And will Edmonton be able to get a victory on enemy territory to push that game seven? Silverthorne takes now. the inbound from three. And? Monty Silverthorne, no good, but Sutters is there. Oh, book. Beautiful <laughs> job by Crosby Sutters to get the rebound and then dunk it down. I'll tell Somebody you, Sut intention. Sutters has been quiet, but boy, when he's loud, he's very loud in this game. 8.4 seconds left in the clock, but oh, they are going to go for the intentional. That was on Cassius. Excuse me, I mean, Cassius was the one that was fouled, so she'll be the one taking like, the free throws. And there's only 7.3 seconds, so really, I, as far as I'm concerned, they're just dragging this one out. They can afford to. Cassius lining up. First is good. Makes it a seven point game. Still got the scrubs out there. Sutter's Sly, Iona lining up there by the kennel. Along with Eli Shuck and Song Wah. Cassius puts up the second, and that's good as well. She's perfect on the line. Spectrum's that's call a timeout, like but I would love to know what you talk about when <laughs> team, we got to make eight points in 7.3 seconds. That's more than a point a second. Has anyone done it? No, no, no one has. That's... Uh, <laughs> There have been some amazing things that have happened in basketball, but uh, nothing that amazing. Nobody can beat the math in the end. So yeah, unfortunately, I think that uh, we're going to be wrapping this one up. But uh, well, this is good for the fans. You can see they're all standing up, cheering for their team. Excited that Edmonton, they were looking bad for a while there, but they're able to stay alive. Bill Sheik from three. They get the tension high. No good. And then it's recovered by Song Wa. And that'll do it. Clock runs oh, out. Wow. And Edmonton, Totems stay alive. It's Spectrum's 81, Totems 89 to finish this one. Told you they'd do it. Yeah, you sure did. And you were right. This is a <laughs> fabulous job. And I got to tell you, there was certainly a time in this game where it looked bad for the Totems. They were falling behind. Spectrums were had all the momentum. But boy, they just stuck with it. And a lot of it because of Scott Parsons. Yeah. Respect the muscled. <laughs> Beautiful job by the Otter there. He was just uh, firing it up, especially late in the game. He was uh, instrumental in making sure that this team was able to stay alive, was able to stick with it, even when they were behind. And that is so yeah, important. On the edge of the seat. It's so important. Keeping that confidence is so easy to lose so much confidence when you're behind the scoreboard, especially as far back as the totems were. But... Scott Parsons, just keep it, keeping it up. Keep up the muscle, keep up the game, and do not give up. He'll finish this game with an amazing 26 points.